Hello, we are the GNA Brothers, and today we'll be looking at the basic functionality of the Commodore 64. You might have seen us unboxing it in our last video. We recommend that you go see that. So, we right here, what you're looking at is the operating system of the Commodore 64. It doesn't look like much, as we, but as you mentioned in the last video, it's just like really all other computers at the time had a command line operating system. So you ran, so they ran only in basic. So you had to input basic commands in, or like the language is actually called basic. And you so you need to input commands in basic in order to get it to do anything. And if you did anything else besides that, you get like, for example, tytyj, you get a syntax error. So you can do like basic math problems. Like so you can see, I can do print one plus one, I get, it returns two. And they can also print uh, strings, so I can do print Commodore, so it, it prints that, and you can also actually make programs, I did mention this in the last video, um, you can make programs and it's a lot more open-ended than the, really, than the computers now, but a lot less sophisticated, um, as you can see. So. There wasn't really too much that you could do on here, but there were a wide variety of games, and all of them were pretty much either on cassette tapes or floppy disks. I do have a, a, a floppy disk drive. It's a five and a half, uh, oh, five and a quarter inch floppy disk drive. That's what the computers used at the time. We also have a dot matrix printer for it, all from Commodore and an entire library of, uh, of floppy disks. So I'm just going to start up uh, Donkey Kong. I already have the uh, floppy disk in there for that, so I just need to put in load and Donkey Kong, the name of the file. And then comma 8. The comma 8 part, that tells the Commodore that to, it should look for it in the floppy drive instead of a cassette drive, it's a cassette tape reader. So now I do that. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can kind of hear the the floppy drive looking for it. It takes a while, and it's weird because um, you didn't have like say the command prompt in Windows. You couldn't say like tree or dar. Um, you can't do any of that. You just had to know what files were on it. You couldn't see any files on it unless you knew the name of them. So right now it's searching for that, um, and it's going to actually take a little bit just because on the floppy drive because of its magnetic disk inside of it, kind of kind of like uh, the CDs and DVDs later, but it's except not in, in a plastic casing. So now as you can see it's ready, I just need to type run, and it's Donkey Kong. So press F1 to start the game, F1, so I have a joystick to play Donkey Kong uh, going into the side port I mentioned in the other video. So now as you can see Mario right here um so Donkey Kong is so uh, it's gonna start throwing his barrels now so um it's not really if I can get this ladder uh it's not really all that different from um the it's not really different at all from the arcade version except that I died. Um, Except that it's in black and white, and because we couldn't get the color or sun working, this is actually a color computer. So it, you, if you did have a color monitor, you could use color on it and sound too. It was a very good sound, but sound to sound. So I'm just gonna try and get up there before I die. Well, um, I guess that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, hope you like it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.